What's good everyone, Aggie Coach here. All right guys, so welcome to another video. This video I'm going to call the evolution of passing in electric football. And I wanna do that because I wanna share something with you guys um, that I found and I think is very, very interesting. And um, so I, I really wanna share this. So. We're going to be looking at the TTQB as it is, and we're going to be looking at um, the Topro V3, right? Uh, and I wanted, I wanted to just point this out because I want you guys to see. Um, I'm not going to say that it's a discovery that I made, but I think, I think, uh, and don't quote me on this, but I think uh, I have an understanding now of how uh, passing has evolved in electric football. So I want to kind of let you guys in on a little something, and I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I can. But we have to look at this from a perspective of, like, really more holistically uh, with regard to the offense and the defense with how uh, how the game has evolved uh, and with the necessity of passing. And I want to share something with you guys because uh, for so many years, I have been using um, tilting uh, with, the, uh, with the TTQB. But I wasn't using tilting because I wanted to gain an advantage or because there's, you know, I wanted to gain some extra yards or, or as a means of exploiting the defense and that kind of thing. I think defenses in electric football has evolved in the way that it has evolved. And this is just my theory, guys. This is just, just me talking to you guys. Um, I think that it has evolved. Defensively, it has evolved the way that it has evolved because of the limitations that the TTQB puts both offensively and defensively. And as I go through this, I'm going to sh I'm going to show you exactly what I'm saying. So, I got my Michigan Wolverines here in Conway and I have them set up against the Central Arkansas Bears. And I got the Wolverines right now set up where I'm running zone man, right? And I just want to show you the kinds of limitations that the the TTQB can put on the offense because I want y'all to see see it for yourselves. And then I want you to see the advantages and disadvantages that the off the, the disadvantages that the offense have and the advantages that the defense has, right? And then we're going to switch over to the V3, um the Topro V3 and I'm going to show you how those things are mitigated on both sides. So we're going to just kind of play this out. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So first of all, uh, you know, I did a video on this before. If you haven't had a chance to see it, please check it out. First of all, going with um, the, 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 the TTQB, first of all, I, wanted to, I want you to see, uh, again, we have to, I'm, I'm calling this down the middle, right? I'm trying not to be, not to show any favoritism on any side, but the math just doesn't lie. So if we look at the triple threat quarterback, uh, if you need to see more details, go back to my previous video. Um, but you notice the tip of this triangle right here is pointed up, right? So that means, with that being the case, that means it is not perpendicular to the ground, guys. It is not perpendicular to the ground. So looking at the evolution of passing now, it means that in order for me to get a ball to fly perpendicular to the ground, I have to lean him forward. See that? Now it's flat. I have to lean him forward. Now, that's going to present the defense with a distinct advantage and is going to present the offense with some disadvantages, which we are getting ready to go through right now. So let's get into it. I have been, I have spent time analyzing this. So you guys, 
pay very, very close attention, right? This is all about physics and geometry right here. So I'm going to lay it all out for you. Defenses have evolved in electric football the way that they have evolved because passing had to evolve in the way that it has evolved out of necessity, the necessity of needing to lean him forward in order to get the ball to go in a straight line, which means defenses had to adapt to that mechanism, which explains why electric football is played the way that it is played in today's time, right? So I'm going to show you what I mean. So here I got my uh, the Bears on offense, and uh, I'm going to be using the FedEx system so you guys know that the FedEx system is a multi-stop system. You guys have already seen the how-to video, so I'm not going to talk about any of that. We're just looking at the passing mechanism right now, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do my snap real quick, right? And I'm going to make my adjustments, guys, so I just want you to bear with me, and then we're going to look at the passing. Right. So let me go ahead and, and set up my blocking scheme and everything really quickly. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to do this quickly. And I will do my pivots. OK. And defensively. I will do my pivots. Okay. And you can't hold that in line, so you got to draw back. All right. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done my pivot. So now let's go ahead and get our receivers out and let's see what happens. Uh-oh, I see one more problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I see one more problem. Uh... Yeah. Hold on. You going out in the flat. That linebacker is going to pick him up, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right, so here we go. So let's have these guys run their route, and we're going to stop it. All right. Now let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, so coverage-wise, we have a covered receiver here, okay? We have an open receiver here, right? We got everything all jammed up over there. If you look on the far side, right? If we look on the far side, right there, we got Lewis on the far side of the field back over here. Um, he's being covered by the cornerback out there. We got a pass rush coming from that outside linebacker right here. And then we got the running back over there. Okay. So, that's what we got so far. Now, let's analyze the passing first, starting with um, the triple threat quarterback before we look at the V3. So, let's grab the triple threat quarterback and let's see what we have. So, right away, we have some problems that I already noticed right off the bat. We have some problems. The first problem is my ball is already tilted, which means in order for me to get it flat, I'm going to have to tilt this quarterback. But that presents me with the problem because once I replace him now and I want to shoot for a target, let's first, let's first go through the process of elimination, right? We're going to do this with math. We're going to go through the math with this. We're going to go through the process of elimination. First of all, let's say I want it to go to my wide out over here, right? Well, these guys are in the way. So I'm gonna, we're going to go through it. So defensively, the defensive person, the person who's playing defense over here, they already know because I have to tilt this quarterback and I need line of sight, they already know that 
There's some receivers, even though they appear to be open, they already know that that is, limit, that is eliminated. So it means that as long as I have people in the way, I don't really have to play defense. All I got to do is block your lanes. So for example, and I'm going to go through this so you can see. For example, if I want to go over here, let's see what happens. And I have to lean him forward. I have to tilt him. I want to go right here. I have to tilt him. Watch what happens. Uh-oh, guy's in the way, ball gets blocked. So I already can't pass over here. Even though he is open, I can't throw that ball because I am limited to what this uh to what the TTQB can do. Let's say I wanted to go someplace else. Right? So we're gonna come right back. Let's say I wanted to go someplace else. So we're gonna run this right down the middle. So now let's say I want to go over here to Walker. Walker should be wide open, right? Should be wide open. So I got I pivot him. Okay, so now I want to throw this pass. Guess what? So I should be able to make this throw. Let's see. Okay, so I was able to squeak that through. But this guy, this outside linebacker and this defensive end, if that defensive end was up another yard, he would have been blocking my line of sight. So I could not make that throw either. But now let's say I want to go deeper, right? Let's say I want to go out here to Wilson. Let's say I want to go deeper, right? So I want to go deeper, but here's my problem. I still got players in the way. So I have to tilt him. That's just a bad throw. But I'm, have, I'm having to try to compensate because I'm trying to figure out how to get past, how I'm going to get past this defender. Okay, so notice that I can't really get past Walker. And if I try to throw to his inside to get over here to Wilson, this guy's arms is in the way. So, so you can see that like just by happenstance, right? You can see that my options are limited. So essentially, I'm limited to having to pass to him or having to pass right here, which is a no game. The guy that's wide open that could potentially get me a touchdown, definitely get me a first down, even though he's wide open, I can't throw to him because I can't get past these two guys right here. They're blocking my line of sight, right? So this is the limitation of the TTQB. Right. And it's because of needing to tilt him forward in order to complete a pass. Now, defensively, for me as a defensive coach, that means that really all I have to do is I just have to say, OK, as long as I fan out and I block lanes and I send one or two linebackers to blitz and I block his lanes, you know, he's limited to how he can complete passes. Right now, I'm just going based on what I'm seeing. All right, so now let's remove this. And now let's see what happens if we bring in the V3. Now, if we bring in the V3, I no longer have any of those limitations. All of those limitations are now gone because what the V3 allows me to do, it allows me, without tilting, to throw that ball right over there. Right. Let me do that again so y'all can see right over their head. Completed. Look at that. Dead on. Dead on. Right over top of those guys. Right into the bucket. Dead on. Right. Not only that. If I go the other way. So I just want you guys to see. Right. What's I, I want you to see what's happening and and. How this, how this, now, here I got to throw it over his head and I got to get it past him and I got to drop it between these two guys to complete that pass. And look at this. That was just a little short. It was just a little short. So these little things these little things, just like practicing with this thing. Bingo. Completed. I dropped that thing over him, over him, and right onto Wilson. Even with him being covered. Completed. 
So I want you to see what, look at what has happened. What has happened with the V3 is the game has just opened up. So now what does it mean for me as a defensive coach? It now means that I have to play closer coverage because now no longer do I have the comfort of knowing that I can block lanes and cut off his passes. I no longer can do that. So now it means that I have to play a defensive scheme. Now I got to start dropping people back. I can't blitz all of the time. I can't come off the corners all of the time. I have to now start playing the field. So now those limitations that I had with the TTQB have been removed with the V3. So now it means offensively, I am no longer limited by my passing lanes. Now I'm limited by my own ability to throw the ball. So now it comes down to me practicing and now knowing I can throw over the defensive line. I can throw over linebackers. I can throw over your secondary. So now as a defensive coach, you got to play defense. And as the offensive coach, I'm not limited by lanes anymore. So now my whole offense just opened up, which means I can do lots of things scheming offensively. And the defense has to scheme better too, playing defensively. So now I can start dropping these passes in the bucket. As you guys just saw, as you practice and get better with this thing, I just wanted you guys to see how much the V3 opens up the game, right? It, it has taken those limitations away from the offense. And it has taken that safety blanket away from the defense. So now the defense has to play defense and the offense is no longer limited by the need to have open passing lanes in order to complete passes. So I no longer need to kind of lean it around to try to get around a player. I got this player in the way. I got that player in the way. I got that player in the way. I got to get between this player and I can drop that thing right over top and complete that pass. Same thing over here. I got three guys in the way and somebody covering him and I just drop it right over top of them and complete the pass. So the game just opened wide up. So I just wanted you to see, just looking at the evolution. So my thinking is things evolved the way that they evolved, right? Things evolved the way that they evolved because of the need to, the requirement to have to lean the quarterback forward in order to be able to throw the pass, right? That requirement no longer exists. So, guys, try it out and let me know what you think. Try it out and let me know what you think. I'm just showing you guys, right? It is what it is. This is what it is right here. Based on my observations, and again, this is just me talking to y'all. Based on my observations, this thing is awesome. This thing really just opened up the game. Holla back. Peace.